with their inaugural 2018 season in the books. 2019 shaped as a year of promise for the VFLW Bombers. Welcoming six players boasting AFLW experience to complement some of the country's most exciting young talent, Coach Brendan Major assembled a squad poised to rise. This is our home ground. This is our space. You've worked all pre-season to get here. You've worked for the opportunity to run out in this jumper. Despite a heartbreaking loss to Casey in the opening round, the Bombers' improvement was plain for all to see, with their skill, spirit and cohesion thrilling a boisterous home crowd at Windy Hill. Unfortunately, another narrow loss would follow the week after against Geelong, before a heavy defeat to a star-studded Richmond outfit in round three. But if you thought the pain of a 0-3 start to the season would break this side's spirit, then you'd be gravely mistaken. The breakthrough finally came in round four. A win over the Northern Blues, handing the Bombers their due rewards. The victory would mark one of six for the Dons, up by five from their maiden season. And they weren't just any ordinary wins too. There was the dismantling of a finals-bound Melbourne Uni. Back-to-back -back triumphs for the first time in the team's short history. A resounding victory over the first-placed Collingwood on enemy territory. And to finish the season, a record club score against Williamstown in a 77-point demolition. Remarkably, much of this was achieved without Captain Courtney Eugle and reigning best and fairest Hayley Bullis. But in their absences, standing captain Simone Norder rose to the challenge, while a new wave of rising stars emerged in the likes of Georgia Patrikios and Alana Barber. At the age of 40, Cecilia McIntosh defied the odds to finish third in the league's best and fairest, while Georgia Nanscorn earned her first ever selection in the VFLW Team of the Year. Indeed, the 2019 season will go down as one of monumental growth for the VFLW Bombers. And as the club strives towards the birth of an AFLW team, it all bodes for a golden future for women's footy at the Bombers.